everyone, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. So one of the magazines that I read on a regular basis is HR Magazine. And this last issue, they had an article that uh, shared a survey, and it's called What Employers Are Doing to Overcome Talent Shortages. So I actually cut this out and I scanned it because I want to show this to you and um, offer some ideas that I have on what you can do to improve your recruiting. Because I know everyone is having a really hard time with recruiting people and finding enough people to even show up for the job. So let me just uh, switch over here. Okay, so this isn't the best graphic for you, but you can see the statistics. So the first thing is to provide additional training and development. And so this is the number one thing that employers are doing to overcome these talent shortages. And I think a lot of people really discount this, but I actually talk a lot about this in my onboarding webinar because onboarding is more than just filling out paperwork and doing a quick training and then getting the employees out into the field cleaning. It's, it has to go way beyond this. If you treat your employees uh, like a commodity without giving them any sort of really in-depth training, they're not going to perform for you and you're gonna continually have this revolving door of employees going through your company. And so it's really, really important if you're not doing comprehensive training, I would strongly encourage you to start coming up with a more comprehensive training and development program especially for your management, supervisory staff too. Uh, we provide supervisor training specifically designed for the cleaning industry. And so if you're not providing that training, you're not developing strong leaders who can then in turn train your cleaners to be the best they can be. And your office personnel too, don't forget about them. The second one, 36%, adjust education or experience requirements. So what can you do with that? Well. You know, some people really want to hire people with experience and you, you know, that's not necessarily the best way to go about it. A lot of people can be trained into a position. In fact, if you hire people with experience, sometimes you have to break them of bad habits. So be sure to think about what your requirements are for these people. And is there something you can do to adjust the education requirements and the experience requirements when hiring? If you think about it, there are employees in the restaurant and retail industries who are really excellent service employees, and they might be perfect candidates for your positions, but they may not have the experience that you're looking for. Don't discount those people, and so take a close look at that. The next one is recruit from outside traditional talent pools. That's 33%. So what can you do there? Well, one of the things that we always found successful, and it's so successful today, is look to some of the schools that are after high school. So you've got trade schools, you've got two-year colleges and technical schools. Take a look at those schools because a lot of them will allow you to post jobs. And a lot of these students are looking for part-time jobs so that they can work while they're going to school. Think about the restaurants you go to, the retail stores that you go into and observe some of their employees. I mean, some people may, may not find it comfortable to approach people that are working in a, in a job, but you know, I know a lot of people that will hand them a business card and say, hey, if you're looking to get off on the weekends, if you're, you know, if you're a residential cleaning company, then come and see us because we've got jobs. And this actually holds true for commercial too, if you're cleaning five days a week, Monday through Friday, Offer them weekends off, but having a great job and advancement opportunities. The next one is to offer additional perks and benefits. So you can be really creative here. You know, I know that a lot of the traditional benefits like health insurance and, and those types of things, uh, dental insurance are very expensive. So if you can't afford that, what else can you do to offer some additional perks and benefits? Some people get creative with food. <laughs> so they send them off in the morning with a good breakfast or they have uh, pizza for them on a Friday when they're coming to pick up their checks, different things like that. They may not sound like a big deal, but they're fun for the employees and people wanna have fun in their jobs. So think about things that you could do to give them additional perks and benefits. Maybe there's even a local fitness center that you could partner up with to give your employees discounts on different services, you know, whether it's fitness or some other kind of service that from another local provider. 
Maybe there are some kind of incentives for great performance that you can give them with gift cards or the owner taking them out to lunch, but really think about all the different things that you could do there. And then be sure to promote that to the people that are applying for jobs. The next one is explore alternative work models. So what could that look like? Now, I'm not suggesting that you go from having employees to going into the subcontractor model. I'm talking about some other creative ways that you can um, explore different models. So, for example, with commercial cleaning companies, most of you are doing nighttime cleaning, but there's a lot of companies that are switching to day cleaning. So can you incorporate some day cleaning so that you can provide jobs that are, you know, say the seven to three kind of work or, you know, a different work shift other than the traditional nighttime working. Perhaps it's hiring more part time versus full time for residential, because I know most residential people are looking for full time employees. But can you be more flexible and offer a new model that also offers opportunities for part time workers and vice versa for a lot of the commercial? Many commercial cleaning companies hire their key people as full-time, their supervisors and lead people. However, a lot of their nighttime cleaners are part-time. So can you offer more full-time um, positions with benefits? So think about the alternative work models. Some cleaning companies have floaters on staff. So if you are not using floaters, that is a great way to fill in and make sure that all the positions are being filled when there's absences. So think about how you can incorporate that work model into uh, your business. The next one is pretty obvious. Higher, offer a higher salary. Wouldn't we all love to offer higher salaries to everyone? However, in order for you to do that, you need to, for one thing, have the most productive staff you can possibly have. The way that you can offer higher salaries is if your staff is very well trained, go back to that first one there with additional training, and making sure that they are really productive. If you've got standards for productivity in your business, then they should be meeting or exceeding those standards. And when they do, that should make your company more profitable, which means you can offer those higher salaries. And be known for offering top pay in your community. Why be known as the low pay <laughs> employer, right? So the next two are kind of similar, offer flexible or remote work and outsource the work. So what can you do there? Obviously your cleaners, you can't have remote cleaners. You, they have to be there on the job. However, some of your other positions in your company, you may be able to outsource or offer remote work. If you have office personnel, a bookkeeper, for example, um, maybe they can work at home once or twice a week. That would be a great perk for them. I know a cleaning company that has recently hired someone. She's in Chicago and she's got someone in Dallas and she is taking all the incoming calls. And so she is being the salesperson for that business. So that person does not have to be sitting right in your office. You can outsource work to virtual assistants. There are virtual assistants that specialize in different things. So, you know, you could have someone that specializes in marketing tasks. You could have VAs that handle bookkeeping. There's a lot of different options, especially when it comes to getting help with the office work. And of course, the last thing is to do nothing. <laughs> so what's going to happen if you do nothing? Well, nothing's going to change, right? So I would encourage you to go back to this list and really take a close look at it and see what are some of the simple things I can do right now to improve my recruiting process. And what are some of the things that you would really like to do that maybe take a little bit more time, but you know is going to be effective with improving your recruiting? Because if you can improve your recruiting and then retain more employees, then you're going to have a stronger business and you're going to be able to outbeat your competition. So if you like the tips I shared here today, please uh, check the or subscribe. Just click on that button below this video here and you'll get notifications every time we release a new video. Thanks and have a great day.